complete different story once you head a little more east towards the mountains and desert areas. Satellite and radar composite. This picture does a really good job at highlighting the severe activity that we've seen over the past three hours. And you can see again mainly impacting our local mountains and deserts. And right now it looks like activity still continuing to linger for the southeastern pocket of our county. So right along the eight again, if you're traveling anywhere near the Imperial County borderline, you could very well run into downpours at times. I highly advise to hold off on travel for at least the next hour. That's when it looks like storm activity will diminish. But as of right now, it is still coming down in some areas. Now, because of this activity, we're tracking a few things happening in terms of watches and warnings. Everything that you see highlighted in the green is where we have a flash flood watch in effect until tomorrow expiring at 10 o'clock. Meanwhile, everything in the red expires at 730 p.m. And that's where we have a flash flood warning in effect. Heavy downpours could be associated with gusty winds, hail and lightning. Again, mainly impacting the mountains and desert areas and again the peak of activity will occur within the next hour or so before diminishing pretty significantly overnight. So right now where you live, let's go ahead and start things off from our downtown sky cam Columbia picture sky cam. We have a mix of sun and clouds. Meanwhile, some ominous clouds in the distance from our Mount Laguna sky cam as we zoom on in again just south of this area is where we're seeing the bulk of activity currently happening right along the eight. And as I mentioned, quite a nice view from the Columbia picture sky cam looking across downtown current temperatures still remaining warm, but we've actually dropped a couple of degrees compared to the same time yesterday. Right now, coastal areas are in the 70s from Oceanside all the way down to IB. Meanwhile, about 10 degrees warmer the more inland you head. 86 right now in Ramona, 88 in Warner Springs, 81 in Julian, and dew point temperatures have also seen a rise. So right now we're in the mid to upper 60s, certainly feeling muggy out. So again, if you are doing anything outside this evening, just make sure that you may want to layer up because it looks like it is still pretty warm out. So as I mentioned, the rain activity really diminishes as we get through the evening overnight hours and then it picks back up again tomorrow. Activity tomorrow afternoon though won't be as severe as this afternoon. In fact, we're looking at anywhere from a 30 to 50 percent percent chance of rain and any thunderstorm activity we do see will be pretty isolated. So aside from the storm activity, the big story is also going to be the cool down that a lot of us are going to feel this weekend. We'll drop to the low 70s along the beaches Saturday and Sunday for the inland valleys to tomorrow and Friday are looking like the warmer days. Then we see about a five degree drop in temperatures for the inland valleys. Overnight lows will also take a dip as well. We'll be in the mid 60s by Saturday night. Low 80s for the mountain areas. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s and hundreds remaining in the deserts. And let's go ahead and give you a live.